Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to set up this avatar so that it's easy for us to see the changes when we edit the hands. Now, there are two ways to do this. You can either use the default pose that I've actually added to this product. So if you come up to the Actions tab and click on that and then you click on the Play, it'll go into a uh, default pose that we're going to use. However, every time you click Apply Changes, You'll notice that it goes out of pose. So this is here just just for just in case you don't want to spend the money on the testing avatar, which is very cheap. But my advice is to get the testing avatar, and I will show you why. So if we come down to the clothing, and this is after you've purchased it, um, and you can just type in star into the search, and here it is, and we'll just add it, and you'll notice that it pops straight into the pose. Okay, so it doesn't matter how many times we click Apply Changes, as you can notice up here, it will always stay in the pose. And that's what we want when we make edits to the hands. Now, you can get this avatar from the catalogue page, and let me just show you where that is. I'll just open up Google here. So step one, you can see here, get the testing avatar. Okay, so there's a link for that, and there's also a link for the zip file, which contains everything you need for the nails. Okay. Okay, here's a quick lesson on how scalars work. So the first thing we need to do is we need to come up to the Debug tab. So let's click on that. And then on the Debug 02. Now, if we scroll down, you can see that I've actually got this already highlighted, and that is LF Hand, which represents left hand. Now, if we have a look at the product page with all the information, you'll notice here that it's got LF Hand as well. Okay, so this represents this, okay? So let me just bring up an image that I've got pinned here so we can sort of reference to it while we're going along here. Okay, so if we've got the left hand selected, if we scroll down, you'll notice that the next one is the left thumb, okay? B01D, that is this one, which is this joint in here. The next one is the left thumb 02, which is this one, and if we scroll down further, you'll notice that this is the 03, which is this one. So this here will go in order as the fingers go along like this, okay? So that's how you know what to edit. So this is a good picture to either print out or get to understand. But it's pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward. Okay, now the other thing that you need to know is about the X, Y, Z, okay? So let's just minimize this. Now the X, Y, Z are what affect the or scale the bone in either thickness, width, or in length, okay? So let's have a look again at the product page. And here you can see the X, okay? And you can see what it's doing. It affects the thickness. Next we have the Y, which affects the width. And then finally the Z, which affects the length. Okay, pretty straightforward, isn't it? Right. So now that we've got that, the, the last thing that you need to know is the values. Okay, so here you can see that I have it set on nine, 0 0.95 on all three X, Y, and Z. Now what this means is that this particular finger is at 95% of its default 100%. Okay. Now if I was to change this to 1.0, then it would be 100%. So let's have a look up here, and if we have a look at the hand, you can see the, well this is actually the right hand, let's come back down to the left hand, and you can see that the X is 78, which is 78%, Y is 79, and Z is 80. Now if you use hand scalers, you'll understand this because 0 0.80 is 80%, so if you see a hand scaler at 80%, you know that this is the same as this, okay? So now that we understand the basics of the scaling, let's actually put it into effect and scale the hand. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just effect the left hand, okay? So this, you know, obviously you'll be able to do this with both hands, but what I'll do is I'll just go a little bit in depth on how to uh, change this and customize this. So if we come down to the left hand, you can see that I've got 78, 79, and 80. Now, there is no specific hand size that is correct, regardless of what anybody tells you, not on an avatar and not on IMVU, you, you, basically whatever looks good to you is the correct size, okay, so just, you know, it's up to you what you, how you make the hand and uh, what you believe your customers will like if you're actually selling the product, so 
for me personally, I, I actually don't like this long length in the hand. I like this to be shorter because if you look at your hand naturally, that part of your hand isn't actually any longer than your fingers. I mean, it might be some on some hands it might be a fraction, but it's not really. So my way of thinking is to make this part of the hand a little bit shorter and to make the fingers a little bit longer. So as you can see here, this is not the case. So I want to change this. So what I'm going to do is because we know that the Z affects the length, okay, what I'm going to do here is on the Z is I'm going to make this shorter. So I'm going to take this down from 80% to let's say 65, I'll put in 65, and remember you can either click on OK or just hit Enter on your keyboard, and then come up to Apply Changes. So you can see what's happened here, now this is a lot shorter, okay, but we've got this problem with the short fingers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, like in the other video, I'm going to affect the index finger. Okay, so I'm going to come down to where it is, and it's right here, and I'm going to push the length up to, um, I'm going to actually do it one point, I think 1.3, just to go extreme here. Okay, and then click enter, hit enter on your keyboard, and then apply changes. So it's quite long. Now, looking at that, I mean, it looks too long right now, but that's because all these are short. Um, so if we, if we affect all these, it might actually not look too bad. So let's, let's come down and we'll look at the next finger. And that'll be this one. Now remember you can affect every single joint. So I'm just doing this because obviously this video would be um, you know, two hours long if I went too detailed. But So what we'll do is we'll edit this one as well. We'll hit the Z and um, you know, we'll put in, put in 1.2 maybe into this one just to see what happens. Okay, yeah that's cool. I don't mind that. Okay, and then we'll come down and we'll hit the ring finger as well which is by the way is the one that was has been um, fixed and I don't want the actual ring finger I want the Z value so let's come up here and I'm gonna put in 1.1 into this just to see what happens just to see what sort of look we get okay yeah I mean I don't I don't mind that too much it, it, it sort of looks a bit different but you know everyone to his own um, and also just now the pinky and that's the pinky so we'll just edit that as well and I'm just going to put in um, 1.1 as well into that okay so let's have a look you know I quite like I quite like that um, you know you can change it up to whatever you want so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale that whole hand because I want to show you something and what happens um, when you put on a very small scaler you'll notice that you get this horrible looking pinching in the wrist. Well, with these new star hands, thanks to uh, collaboration between myself and Jack Mesh, and Jack Mesh has been able to you know, fix this issue. Not fix it 100%, but make it uh, look a hell of a lot better. Um, and I'll show you here. So you know how bad it looks when you put on a 60% or a 50% scalar. So let's just um, come up here and you know, I'm going to knock all these down. I'm going to knock this to 65 as well. I'll put that on 65 and I'll put this on 65 as well and okay and just watch that hand okay now that's just probably a little bit too thin um, because the fingers look too long now but you can see nothing's happening with the wrist it's beautiful isn't it it's a beautiful thing <laughs> so um, I'm gonna even go further down here I'm gonna I'm gonna go down to 50% just to show you um, Okay, look at that. Look how small that hand is. And look at the wrist, isn't it pretty? <laughs> okay, so you can see just what's possible. Um, now I'm going to show you a few uh, tips that might help you. So let's have a look at a few tips. Tip number one, just because these are set to 95% on XYZ on all the fingers, this does not mean they are correct. I've just set this value to give you a starting point remember the only way to really truly know what looks good is to test so these all three of these could actually be different and look better than what they do so just remember test 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 if you have some poses and you want to add them to this product for your customers to give it more of a um, bit more selling power 
just add some more poses here just like you would with a normal product just come up to the actions tab add give it a trigger let's say ii disable the gaze come down here replace put in zero for infinite loop and add your pose file here and that's it you're done Tip number three, maybe you want to change something else on this avatar. Hmm, how do we do that? Well, let's see. Let's come up to left hand, highlight it, edit it. Now, if you know the names of the bones, you can always change it in here. Let me see, I'll put in, hmm, thigh. Let's see what happens when I click apply. Oh my goodness, look what happened. You'll find this in the zip file that you can download with the UV maps. So if we just have a quick look at it, you can see here what it does is it actually just indicates different length nails. Okay, so it works with the map. So it'll just it'll just make it a lot easier for you to be able to figure out where you want the actual nail to be in length. Okay, this is the last tip. Now my advice is if you are not scaling the fingers and not using them, to avoid any conflict with any other products it's advised to deactivate them okay now you can just select it and then go down to edit and then just wipe out the name okay so it's all the nod names so basically you would go down and do this with all the nod names just take out all the names like this and that'll deactivate them and just remember to leave the top two which are the um, the main ones the left hand and the right hand You'd obviously just leave those two and you'd wipe out all the fingers and if you need to put the names back in for any reason you can always reference this pick and you can just copy the uh, names of the joints and add them back in simple as that